Morning YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel this morning. It's a nice cool morning up here in the mountains. It's been raining for a couple days so we got a little bit of water but nothing in the creeks yet. But I'm still inside. I'm, I'm going a little different route so what you're seeing before you right now is a 3D printed metal detector support and there's a lot of different ones of these on uh, around. Uh, I've got friends that have made these uh, with their 3D printers and uh, that's a, and this is actually a mail call. I got this one in the mail. I ordered this from uh, Alan Robertson. This is his design but it doesn't come from him. It comes from printingprospectors.com and Alan designed this years ago and I've uh, been going to buy one, going to buy one and now I finally did so here it is. Very simple device. Uh, this is actually a, a shim in here also so if you have a, a smaller stem on your detector uh, you can go to the uh, what use this uh, if you got a bigger stem you can use this one and I've got a uh, uh, Goldbug Pro well, I've got a couple detectors, but that's the one I mainly use is the Goldbug Pro. And uh, this works just like this on it. This with a little uh, shim in it. And uh, hang on a minute, I'll bring my detector up here and we'll look at it. Okay, so what you see there is the... Uh, I don't know what to call it, the support. <laughs> on this end of uh, my Goldbug Pro and let me take it at the other end here I think and normally I don't have room here and I'll show you why later but your detector typically will sit let's see if I can get it up here it'll normally sit like this with uh, it'll be on the ground but what happens it falls over you know it'll do this it'll, it'll fall over so now you it's just a, a, a pain when you're out and this prevents all that from happening so that's from Alan Robertson Pro, uh, pros <laughs> oh Lord let me get back to it okay one more time I'm going to say it right this time printing prospectors.com uh, they list all his stuff that they print for him there the sluices and everything Alan Roberts to check out his channel. He has a great channel uh, on on YouTube. But check this out. I think you'd enjoy it. It works well. It snaps on, snaps off. You know, no screws, no anything. So anyhow, that's the first thing I got. I'll show you something else here in a second. So this is another device from a, a friend of mine and a club member of our club who also does 3D printing. Uh, and it's not surprising that there's many, many uh, prospectors that do this. But these are for getting your gold into a vial or uh, the, the snuffer bottle. It can fit in this, this end. And you can just put a vial on this end and turn it upside down and it's in the, it's in the vial. So he prints these up. I don't remember the price, but uh, you can get a hold of him here at this uh, Gmail and this comes with it it's detailed instructions I mean this is really detailed as you step by step what to do how to do it very good very good very nice his name's Greg and uh, you know, uh, drop a line. I don't think Greg is doing videos on YouTube, but he's doing a lot of 3D printing. And that's kind of where this whole uh, morning video is going is for 3D printing. So uh, that's two of the four things I got this morning. And the other one is not a 3D printed item, but, but these are. So let me get the last one up and I'll show you. Hey, this is what I got in the mail. Uh, the, the third thing. Uh, and this is a 3D printer. That's why I'm showing all this 3D printed stuff. Many, many prospectors are doing 3D printing nowadays. 
and just making some incredible things that are really easy to do. So I thought, well, if they can do it, I can probably do it too. So I bought this uh, Creality Ender 3 version 2 3D printer, and I have just assembled it here. Uh, ignored the walls and the bookcase and all this stuff and the poor lighting, but uh, there it is. This is the uh, sample filament they send with it. Uh, so it's up and almost ready to go. Uh, I've got a few other things I want to adjust on it. Got the bed leveled and got all the rollers set. And uh, so it's just a case of getting uh, the filament to print the way I want it to without any little glitches in it. So, so anyhow, that's the other part of the this mail call. That's a kind of a long, a long mail call, but it's. Uh, Something I wanted to do and, and show you the direction I'm going to go for a little while maybe and, and see how effective I can be with this also. Uh, it's real similar to the plasma cutting that I used to do with the plasma table. You, you got the same axis, you know, X, Y, and Z axis. And uh, so everything is real similar so it should be software wise easier and you can get all kinds of free software online. I mean, it's just amazing the stuff you can get, uh, software that will help you show how to, to slice your drawing and software that shows you things that are already made that you can download for free and most of this stuff is all free. So, really cool, I'm not going to go into a, a lot of this right now, but anyhow, I'm just showing you another way I'm going here. So that's it for the, the 3D printed stuff, so we'll get on to the other stuff. I've been having some technical difficulties with this camera again like I did on the uh, patron giveaway. This doesn't want to shut off sometimes and sometimes it doesn't want to turn on. Anyhow, this is the last thing I, I got in the mail. Uh, the label's on the other side but you don't need to see the label and I've already cut the top open. And you'll probably recognize this right away. This is Pay dirt bag, and it's from Vendetta Prospecting. You know they have been doing a uh, Vendetta week, and everybody's panning out his his material here. And I was going to do it, and then I got tied up with several other things, and I couldn't get back to it. So what I did was I bought a bag from them, and now that's a half gram bag, and I'll probably do a uh, a clean up of this, maybe not a review as such, but just to show you what's in it. Uh, I don't remember really what the price of this bag was. It was relatively inexpensive. It was something like forty dollars in free shipping, and it's a half gram bag, so it's close to hundred percent ROI. And no, Mike, he always goes over what he puts into the bag, so it can be more than a half gram. So anyhow, that's the last thing in this uh, mail call. It's kind of a 3D prospector's mail call for the most part, but had to throw Mike in here too. So check by, uh, back with uh, Mike and see what he has. Uh, he's got more pay dirt and he's got an incredible channel. So give him a look-see on both ends. Um, so guys, I didn't empty out uh, the shipping container. Or shipping bag, it's just a shipping bag here. Uh, and I felt something in the bag and got these two stickers. These are Mike's new stickers, it looks like. And if that wasn't enough, how about this? How about a vial of crystalline gold? Amazing. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I'm anxious to get into the pay dirt now after saying this, so thanks again, Mike. And uh, hope you uh, get a hundred more orders out of this. That'll be it for me for today. This is going to be not as long as I thought it was going to be, but thank you uh, for all you who stood by and watched this. Uh, it may be of interest, it may not. Uh, some of the things may be of help to you, or may not. You know, it's just the way it is. and. Uh, so I'm going to call it quits on this one. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, come back again. And thanks again so much for watching.